One version of Cognos is this 10 or? Uh, 10, 10. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, it is uh, uh, 10 version, 10.1. So, current version is 10.2 and we are using 10.1. It's taking some time, just give me a second. You have web based versions of these tools also, right? Right, right. So coming to web based uh, report studio, Cognos connection, uh, query studio, all these comes under web based. Mm -hmm. So here it has been segregated into two types, window based and web based. Mm -hmm. So modeling wise, you know, framework manager, transformers, map mm -hmm. manager, all these comes into mm -hmm. Window based and coming to web based the query studio, report studio, analysis studio, all this stuff. Uh, right. So now I'll just show you. So this is what a framework manager. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll also open the window based, web based. <laughs> Two things, window based means I have to go to the all programs and I need to open framework manager. If I want to open report studio and all this stuff, Cognos connection, that are all uh, web based. Uh. So we have uh, actually a services, we need to start up the services. That was the reason it was taking some time. This is a framework manager window and this is a uh, Cognos connection right. So in the framework manager what we have to do is the complete process I am showing you now for development of a report. So just initially we need to create a project. Project name something with class uh, 51 uh -huh. and just click OK. Services has not yet started. Uh, this view means so that it can be started. So framework manager is a window basic tool. So these are the six steps what we do in framework manager. So after this, we have Cognos connection. So the Cognos connection, so this is a web based uh, application. So web based tool. So here, uh, if I open Cognos connection, here we can see all the studios like query studio, report studio, analysis studio. So all kind of studios can be available here in the Cognos connection. So if I store, if I develop a report in the report studio, that would be obviously in the stored in the Cognos connection itself. So which will be accessed by the end user. And Cognos here where we the end user will uh, use it.
So these are all the data sources we have in the On the framework manager, first step we created a project, second step now we are importing metadata. See, these are all the different uh, schemas what we have. So here I have selected all the <coughs> tables and uh, next if I use this primary and foreign key, uh, automatically this framework manager tool will uh, specify relationships and set the cardinality. Use primary and foreign key. So it is importing all the query subjects is nothing but table and relationships from 24. So finish. So this is a framework manager uh, tool. So where we do model. So what we did is automatically we specified uh, relationships. We can check it here in the launch context explorer. So the relationships are working between the tables. So we created a project, we imported that. So then the third step is uh, business rules, filters, calculations, conditions, as of now will not operate. So then we will create a package and we will publish it now. So here you can find the framework. But this is a property span, this is a statistical window. How many tables, how many uh, problems we have, relationships, how many data sources, how many. So now just right click, create a package, with class 51 package, click next, if I don't want something, any one of the table, I can just deny it, finish. You have uh, successfully created your package, would you like to open the published package, yes. Here we will define generally security, as of now we will not. Let's publish. Once after creating a package and publishing, now that package can be opened here in the Cognos uh, connection report. See the pack package name is VC512. So this is how we do modeling in the framework manager. Uh, then coming to report studio, this is a Cognos connection window. So here my content, this area will be, my home will be given access to the uh, end user for report development. And IBM developer, I mean Cognos developer will use this IBM Cognos content. So this is a my content and this part is administration part. So this is my actions where we can develop reports. Query my data is nothing but query studio. Analyze my, stu analyze my business is nothing but analysis studio and author advanced report is report studio, this is event studio. So author advanced reports, if I click on author advanced report, it will ask us the package. What is our package name? This one, VC512, right? So just click OK. So these are all the different templates while opening report studio we will ask us which kind of report we want. So just selected a uh, list report. So this is the work area and now what I will do is I will try to drag some columns to this order number. Retailer name, something unit cast. This is a run button. So you can see the data. This is how a report would be created. This window is called as Cognos Viewer. And this is a report studio. And this window is called as Cognos Connection. 
and this is the frame of mind. So was it clear the going forward we used to work with these windows. So this is a framework manager window, Cognos connection and this is a report studio where we develop reports and this is a Cognos window. Mm -hmm. So in the package that you created, right, that will contain all the metadata information, all the tables and the relationships. Right, right, correct. All the tables and relationships will be available. So that has been published, then only we can able to access it in the, see here the name was DC500. So the same tables, whatever we have uh, published, the same tables will be available in the report studio for development. So that metadata will contain some relationships and cardinalities. Um, whether, whether this Cognos has its own database? Sorry? Whether this Cognos has its own database, what this, uh, what this, uh, you know, the package is under, what it will show it? No, it will not, Cognos will not have a separate database. It will directly fetch from the database itself. It will have content stored. So the content store, it will uh, store all the metadata everything. So it will not have uh, any specific uh, database. So you can connect to any database like um, yes, Oracle or SQL Server. Any, any database. Any database. Okay. So this package, right, this package can be said uh, to be the same as a subject area in OBI? Yes, correct. So perfect. The, their uh, VA administration, what we do is we have a physical uh, business mapping layer and uh, we have presentation layer, right? Correct. Right. Uh, do the relationships and all this stuff. The same way here in the framework manager, we do that kind of activities here. So we are just modeling it. Because if I want to fetch data from two different tables, obviously there should be a relationship. So mm -hmm. without relationship, we cannot fetch data from two different uh, So that keeping in mind that, so in the framework manager, we do metadata modeling, then we'll publish this, then in the report studio, we'll develop reports from these columns. Any Now I can fetch a uh, column from any of these data, any of these tables. I'll also include product number. I'll run this. Then you have exercises also? Exercises. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of exercises. Uh, uh, you know, even in the class itself, I'll ask the students to do it. I used to guide them, them uh, with the different kinds of reports we used to do that. Mm -hmm. So I'll just give you uh, mouse and keyboard control and I'll ask the students to uh, do it in the class itself. Few reports, not all the reports. Each student, one, one different report. I'll guide them. Completely will be practical oriented sessions, no theoretical sessions, only first, second, third class. That would be data version concepts and uh, uh, futures versions, all this stuff would be theoretical classes. Later on everything would be practical oriented, no I mean, theoretical sessions. Mm -hmm. um, any more questions, uh, Shanti? No, I think that's fine. I mean some of the topics are like complex, like pre cube creation. So, do you really spend a good amount of time in there? Yeah, yeah, we'll spend good amount of time even in the cube building analysis studio. Right, we do. But most of the time we'll be, we'll spend on a framework manager. In the framework manager itself, we do relational modeling and dimensional modeling in the framework manager itself. So, the even cube also is nothing but again dimensional modeling, right? So, we uh, work both in framework manager as well as uh, to building in the transformer. Most of the time we will spend on report studio because uh, any kind of reports can be developed in the report studio. So lot of time and lot of reports like different even we uh, we use uh, HTML and JavaScript for report development in the report studio. So lot of reports like conditional blocking, formatting, filters, 
drill through reports, master detail reports, dashboards, active reports, list cluster. So all varieties of reports we use to work uh, even in, uh, in Cognos. <laughs> We have the flexibility and we have the more options in the report studio and framework manager. Whereas in the transformers and analysis studio, we'll have very less options even to explore. So whatever the options is available, everything we'll discuss it. We have a more scope in report studio and framework manager to discuss. Mm -hmm. Shanti, any more questions you have? No, that is fine. Uh, fine. Even the uh, software installation, everything will be done by administrator. He will log in into your machine and uh, will install software and everything. Mm -hmm. 10.1.